All right, well, today as we continue down our journey through um, the beginning of Algebra 2 and kind of just reviewing a lot of stuff from Algebra 1, basically, we're going to talk about graphing equations of lines. And when we're graphing lines, you know, you remember the slope stuff, remember y equals mx plus b, um, you know, you find your b and then you do your slope up 3 and over 2 or whatever it was and you, and you draw your line. So um, we're going to enter into those lines today is what we're going to talk about. If, if that was something that you were weak at in the Algebra 1 class or Geometry class, then, then you need to pay extra, extra attention here, right? All right, parent function. I found this picture on the internet and it was great. That is unbelievable. Look at these folks from maybe from the 80s or something. They all have the same hairstyle. Parent function is essentially that. Um, it, uh, the parent function is the most basic equation. For a line, it's going to be y equals x, and it's just a straight 45 degree angle line. And then things kind of rotate and change from there. The y-intercept is where the line passes the y, the y-axis. And slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And standard form of a linear equation is that ax plus by equals c. I've done that a bunch of times. And x-intercept, so if y-intercept is where the line passes through the y-axis, then x-intercept is where the line passes through the x-axis. All right. Parent function of a linear, a linear function is that one I was just telling about, y equals x. It's very basic looking. And uh, the y-intercept, in general, the y-intercept, of a graph is the y-coordinate of a point where the graph intersects the y-axis. So in this one we would have an oh, intercept x and y at 0, 0 and has a slope of 1. So it's really y equals slope 1 over 1 x plus 0 as the, as the y-intercept. When we use slope-intercept form to graph an equation, First, you have to. The first thing you have to do is write the equation in that form. And we talked about this the other day that you have to sometimes change it from standard form to slope-intercept or just solve for y. Okay. Next, you're going to identify identify the y-intercept b and use it to plot the point zero b where the line crosses the y-axis. And then on step three, you're gonna find the slope, or the m, and use it to plot the second point, and so on and so forth, and then you're gonna draw a line through all your points. So let's let's go through one of those right here. Oh, I thought this was funny. These, these people must have been getting their picture taken, and they thought they were taking this really cute picture, and here yeah, they're with their big, you know, big old smiles, cheesy smiles, and hey, honey, smile. So we look like the perfect parents. And then look at their kid fell out of the wagon over here. So just dragging them along. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, so if we have this y equals negative 3 halves x plus 1, it's already in slope intercept. Perfect. And my first thing I need to do is find that point, the y-intercept, right there at 1. Okay, the y-intercept is 1, so I plot a point at 0, 1, where the line crosses the y-axis. The slope is negative 3 over 2. And you decide if the top is going to be negative or the bottom is going to be negative. I could have also made it 3 over negative 2 just as well. It doesn't matter where you decide to put the negative, but it does have to go on the top or the bottom. So, from there, uh, a second point on the line, um, the first one being 0, 1, and then you're going to move down 3, because I'm going to use the negative 3, and right 2, because it's a positive 2. So I go 1, 
two, three down, one, two over. Looks like my second point is down at two, negative two. At that point, I could just draw a line through those two points because I know it's a line, All right? And it takes two points to make a line. All right, using a standard form equation. A standard form equation, um, remember that was that AX plus BY equals C. The equation is written in standard form, and that's like that. Step two, identify the x-intercepts by letting y be zero and solving for x. Use the x-intercept to plot a point where the line crosses the x-axis. So we'll do that in just a minute. And just the opposite for the other one, you let x equals zero and you find the y where it crosses the y-axis. Right. So let's take a look at this one. 2x plus 3y equals 12. On 2x plus 3y equals 12, I want to find the y-intercept first, so, or I want to find the x-intercept first, so I'm going to let y equal 0. And I could, I could do the other one first, doesn't matter. When I let y equal 0, I get 2x plus 0 equals 12. Well, that's just 2x equals 12, so x equals 6. So I have a point at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have a point right there at 6, 0. And how many points does it take to make a line? Two. So now I'm going to let x equal 0. I get 3y equals 12. Divide by 3, and y equals 4. So now I have a point at 0, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Two points make a line, and there it goes. Horizontal lines, when we talk about those, the graph y equals c is a horizontal line through the points 0, C. And the vertical line would be the, through the point C, 0. And let's get into some real numbers so it makes more sense. Like in example 3. Graph Y equals negative 1. Well, what I tell kids who are just learning how to do this, just make themselves three points and always have one rule. Y equals negative 1. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. So maybe I want to graph 1, 2, and 3. So if I graph 1, negative 1, I'm right here. 2, negative 1, I'm right here. 3, negative 1, I'm right here. Y equals negative 1, it's going to look like that. And if I graph x equals 2, again, I'm going to make 3 points where the x is always 2. That's the only rule I have. 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. So I have 2, 1, 2, 2. 2, 3. Looks like that's that line right there. And there they are. That's not too bad. That's pretty easy. But you, I would start with making points so that you don't make mistakes. I, can, I know where that is can get confusing sometimes. All right. You have six checkpoints. Six checkpoints. You have to graph all six of these lines. Give yourself at least four minutes to do this. Pause it and come back and see how you did it. Hopefully, hopefully on these you had, on the first one, you had a y-intercept of 2 and a slope of down 2 and over 1. And remember, they were going by the, they were going by 2s. So we should something like that. And on the next one here, we should have got around there, around 3, 0, and Zero negative four would have been a good place for one. So about right there. Draw a little bit better. On the standard form one on number three, I hope you had points at two zero and zero four. And if you didn't, these are great questions to ask in class tomorrow. All right? well, how did you get that? Or look back on the examples and see how I did it. On this one, you should have had a zero five and a negative three zero so I'll line going through there and on the last two a line going through negative two x equals negative two 
and a line going through y equals four. Alright folks, that's section two three. Thank you very much.